Monday turned out to be a very busy day for the royal family, for it was the first time that Charles led a solemn service as monarch for part of Commonwealth Day. Today's appearance by the Windsors was less stressful than it had been three years earlier, for those who had caused the tension had gone overseas, and it was very exciting for members of the royal family to appear at the event for the first time since Her Majesty the Queen's departure. The royal couple attended the service at Westminster Abbey, with their new titles of Prince and Princess of Wales, and Prince Edward and his wife Sophie, whose vases lit up with joy, went out as the Duke and Duchess of Edinburgh. As palace insiders gossiped, Sophie was greatly relieved at her new high-profile title because she would no longer have to curtsy to Meghan when she met her. The royal ladies bravely fought the wind as they exited their cars, holding up their hats and skirts. The Princess of Wales arrived with her husband Prince William in high spirits, delighting fans with a new Erdem outfit. A dark blue jacket with a floral print and a basque was complemented by a midi skirt, flared to the bottom. Her hair was elegantly styled with a dark blue hat with wide brim. Kate also chose two tiered sapphire earrings framed with diamonds, formerly belonging to Princess Diana, she probably wore these earrings most often at royal events, and a brooch with the Prince of Wales emblem depicting three feathers. Camilla appeared in a bright blue coat with a sapphire brooch and a hat to match. The newly minted Duchess of Edinburgh delighted critics with a light cream coat and a pillbox hat. Princess Anne and other dignitaries, including Commonwealth diplomats, also appeared at the event. The King and Queen were seated in special chairs from the Canadian Club, which were assembled in memory of Canadian warriors. It was especially important for the Windsors today to show how important the Commonwealth is to them, which the Sussexes said in their film on Netflix that it was empire number two. Charles gave a speech in which he honored his beloved mother, recounting the pride she always felt on this day and the dedication with which she gave her whole self to serving the large and diverse Commonwealth family. Against the backdrop of increasingly frequent calls for the separation of the Commonwealth from the British monarchy, it was very important for the king to persuade the people of these countries to remain united. Will the king succeed? The question is rhetorical, 